Hello there, this is Galactos and in this video I am showing you how to transmit not one but rather four bytes of information in one simple redstone line. So let's start with the basics of redstone. Um, if you look at this line you will notice that uh, at the start, or where it's powered, it's a bright orange and it gets darker and more reddish until finally here it's completely dark red and doesn't sparkle anymore. This is where the power ends. So if I place a block here, the torch is no longer deactivated. Whereas if I place a block here, the torch will still be deactivated. And yeah, this works because redstone doesn't actually have two states. Um, normally in if you handle redstone you say it has two states, on and off, but it actually has 16 states, one off state and 15 powered states um, of differ different power. This one has power 15, which is maximum, this has power 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and finally 0. This has no power. and um, the reason why you normally say that redstone is um, binary and has only one state is that all redstone devices operate binary. A redstone repeater will not care which power it gets, it will always output full power, 15, and uh, torches and any other redstone device um, that handles redstone input, such as pistons and node blocks, they all they all operate um, as if redstone were binary. The only redstone device, if you will, that doesn't operate binary is redstone wire itself. You see, um, if a wire is powered by another wire, it will um, adapt this wire's state and subtracted by 1. So if this one has 14, power 14, 14, this block here will have power 13. And yeah, so it's kind of hard to um, work with 4-bit um, redstone because of the fact that if you use a repeater the information is lost. But you can, oops, you can transmit a signal. Um, yeah, all the four bytes of the signal that the redstone wire carries, you can um, transmit this information and you can compute it and use it for some things. Uh, uh. Uh, here. Okay, so I have this wire and I have a torch at the very end, so this last piece of wire here has only a power of 1 and this one has a power of 0. That means that only this repeater will be activated and this will no longer be activated and then I run this line all the way up to here and here the exact same thing happens this repeater gets powered, this one doesn't get powered, so you can repeat the structure and carry information along that the torch here is at the very end of the line and if I place one here then you will now see here are three active repeaters and so are here and here because each time the signal now has still has here still a power of 15 and that means it carries three blocks wider. So that's the basic principle that you use this redstone limit and repeat it with yeah, repeaters. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and that's about the main thing but now the downside of this is I can remove the back torch and you will not see any difference. It, you, it will look as if you had three torches here and 
that's the last thing I'm going to show you in this video. I wanted to fix that and to do this, this massive structure is needed. Um, yeah, you, you need, you basically need to space the signal out with a combination of redstone repeaters and redstone wires so that the, it doesn't interfere. And here you have uh, some kind of custom and not gate. Um, where the input of this signal will be where no the output will only be active if the input here is active and the input here is not active so if I break this line and simulate that it wasn't active now this torch will burn but now it won't burn because we don't want it to burn we want this torch to burn only the outmost and for the more kind of redstone pros of you who wonder why do I have a repeater here I believe I originally believed when I built this that you could use wire but um but what yeah as you see this line is oh wait it's still powered the line although I did break this connection it still powers this line and I think the power is no no I, I, I have no idea where the power comes from there is no torch underneath um, I believe this is a bug but anyways you need a repeater here to make this work and yeah that's basically it I can place a torch at the very beginning of the line and have all of them line up. The obvious downside is that this huge bulk of repeaters acts so slowly. If I just break this torch you can you can actually see the signal going through all the repeaters. It's so slow. Um, yeah, I guess there's no real use for this, but it's more like a proof of concept that you can actually transmit not one but four bytes of information or 16 instead of two states with a kind of simple line of redstone. The problem start if you want to compute the signal, but um, yeah, that's.